Welcome to the forest. I'm here in a special spot. This is the very first ever of the Miracle Sister Chestnut Babies that was planted by squirrels. And this is one year after I discovered it. And I'm here to do a little bit of maintenance to the deer protection and to show you how wonderfully it's doing. And also the fact that it has two companions that I planted. I'll be showing you them in a moment. But first, let's do a little bit of updating to the deer protection. I've got a couple of stakes here. And I'm just going to replace these twigs that I used before with slightly better homemade stakes from my red pine trees. You might be hearing some rumbling in the distance. It's harvest season and so that's the sound of combines harvesting the corn in the distance. That's much better. That looks so nice. There's the terminal bud. It's really beautiful ready for winter, and I'm just <laughs> over the moon that I've got chestnut trees growing in my forest that were planted by squirrels. And that reminds me, it's that time of year. It was this time last year that I discovered this, the very first one. And so it's time to start searching the forest to see if any new ones have come up that were planted last year at this time but I'm actually playing hooky right now because I should be under the Miracle Sisters tree looking for any fallen nuts. But I really wanted to do this right now simply because it was a good opportunity. It's a very calm day, there's no wind, and so I don't expect any to fall while I'm gone for an hour doing these things. So let me show you the other two that are growing here in this little impromptu grove that I've created because this was planted right beside the trail. So lucky that that squirrel who planted this enjoys my trail so much. <laughs> this is across the trail from the one we just looked at. This is one that I got from the Chestnut Council of Canada. And as you can see, it's doing well too. It's got a little leaf or two that popped out of the protection here and somehow didn't get gobbled by a deer. Thankfully, the terminal bud is inside the protection and it's looking good. It's not as big as the buds on the Miracle Sisters chestnut that was planted by the squirrels but they are nice. It's looking good. It's ready for winter as well. Hopefully it will do well next year and grow larger and outgrow this protection that it has right now. This will do fine for the winter. There's nothing for me to do here. It looks good. Very nice. Right across the trail. Our nice little grove here. Let's go look at the third one. Here we are at number three, just about the same distance away from the squirrel planted one, except on the same side of the trail, just further down the trail. And just look at how beautiful this is. This is another Miracle Sisters baby that I planted here to keep the other one company. So here we have the two 
babies from the Miracle Sisters, except this one is only one year old, and the other one is two years old, and this one is actually already taller than that one. This is doing so well that, as you can see, it's taller than the deer protection. So, for now, there just happens to be this little piece of bark sitting here. I did not put it there. That's just the right height for now to help keep the top safe. I will, I didn't bring enough support. I thought that everything was going to be okay here. So I will have to come back and put a better stake here so that, as you can see, I just have to make this collar go up higher to keep it safe from the deer. This will be fine for now. I'll come back another day. But look at this. What a piece of luck this is. I'll just bend this so you can see it in the sunlight. This is a red oak. Look at this little baby red oak that came up right here, right beside it. And as you may know, the Miracle Sisters, the mother of this and the wild planted one, is sistered with a red oak. And these are just the right distance apart so that as they grow, they can sister up as well. With the chestnut having a bit of a head start on the red oak. One year. So, this is really good news. I'm happy to see this. Let's see what happens. Speaking of the deer, can you see right here? We've got this regrowth here, this sucker coming up on this tulip tree. There's the leaves from the tulip. And you can see that it's been given a haircut by the deer. Look at this here, chewed right clean right there. See that glowing there, the white? And so it's really lucky that this didn't grow anymore because the terminal bud on this is perfect. It has not been touched. And what a beautiful terminal bud. Look at all of those. There's two, four buds there for next year ready to go. And thank goodness that it wasn't chewed off by the deer so that when spring comes, it's just going to start growing right away. This is really good news. This is really good. This little spot here, in a few years' time, is going to be dreamlike with these three chestnuts. Two from the Miracle Sisters and one from the Chestnut Council of Canada. In this excellent spot on the extreme western edge of the forest with this beautiful little bit of sun. There's a cornfield over there. And so it, sun can come in here. It's a good thing that they're not doing the combining right here in this cornfield or that's all we'd be hearing. So these are going to get a lot of sun and they're right beside the trail. The trail cuts right through, two on one side and one on the other. Maybe one day I'll plant another one. So we'll have four of them here, two on each side of the trail. Maybe I should get another one from the Chestnut Council of Canada to put over there. Two Miracle Sisters and two from Dragon. If you're watching Dragon, maybe we need another chestnut tree to put right over there. Okay, let's move on to the next spot with another squirrel planted chestnut tree. Here we are at number two. And as you can no doubt see, this is doing extremely well. It's very large considering that it's growing in the forest. In this case, it was planted by a squirrel in a great spot. It's <clears throat> on this little slope here, beside this little 
water courseway that's dry most of the time. It's, it's a drainage from the vernal pool here. So it's a great spot and for several reasons. That's the one, is that sometimes there's some water here and whenever it rains, it'll pool here. And so the sand is very cruel here in the forest. And so this is a great spot where there's a little extra bit of water. And that's why this has grown so well compared to the other one and the ones that I planted beside it. All of those ones in the first spot. And the other reason is because I took down this large red maple here. There are a million red maples here. And so it's getting a little more sun. I need to add a little more support to the protection here from the deer. It's kind of slouching, the existing one. So another support will help. Yeah, that'll work. I've got a little piece of wire behind the camera that I need to grab. This should hold it nicely in place. That's much better. Very nice. Let's see how much more this grows next year. Unfortunately, number three didn't survive. It was planted in a less auspicious spot in dense, dark forest. And even though I cut down the trees around it, it just wasn't enough sunlight. But considering that these were planted by wildlife and not by me, especially with the incredible beauty of this one. This one has a bright and promising future. So does the first one and its companions, but this one obviously has a better spot, faster growth. Let's see what the future has in store.